In this video, we will be addressing the major question that uh, many researchers ask. Many researchers get confused with um, uh, the ANOVA uh, nomenclature that uh, one way ANOVA, two way ANOVA, three way ANOVA, four way ANOVA, and they wonder what is that greatest ANOVA to be one way, two way, and three way ANOVA. And in this video, we will be addressing uh, this question. Uh, before that, um, before uh, answering that question, uh, let me explain uh, what is uh, ANOVA. Okay, and ANOVA is, uh, uh, you know, it is a short name for uh, analysis of variance. It is about finding out whether or not there is a, a mean difference between groups. And um, analysis of variance uh, can be a one-way, one-way, two-way, three-way ANOVA. And what makes uh, ANOVA one-way, three-way, two-way or four-way ANOVA is the number of independent variables. Okay, uh, let me uh, make a comparison, a t-test and um, t-test and analysis of variance or ANOVA. The difference between um, t-test and ANOVA is that um, uh, when we see t-test, uh, t-test, you know, serves the same purpose of um, finding out whether or not there is a uh, mean difference between groups. But in case of uh, t-test, um, the number of groups are limited just to two groups. Okay, two groups. For example, um, uh, let us say that uh, you know exam result okay exam result and uh, gender of the student is gender of uh, the student is gender of the student and to find out whether there is um, uh, average mean exam result okay the, the average or mean exam result difference between uh, male students and female students. There are two groups, okay, the gender, there are two groups, male students and female students. And if our interest is to find out whether or not there is a average exam result difference between male group and female group students, then the, uh, pro the appropriate test that we're going to use is the t-test. Therefore, we use t-test uh, in case we have one dependent variable and one independent variable, but the groups in the depend independent variable should be two, okay? Not not greater than two. Um, we have uh, the dependent variable, which is exam result, okay, exam result, and we have uh, one dependent independent variable, which is the gender of uh, the student, and within the gender of the student, there are two groups, male students and female students and our interest is to find out whether or not there is a statistically significant difference in average exam results between male and female students. In this case, we're going to use independent sample t-test or two sample t-test or um, t uh, student t-test. Okay, student t-test. Uh, and there are actually assumptions that we need to test uh, while we are about to run uh, independent sample t-test. Not just independent sample t-test, but uh, in the course of running a parametric test. It's parametric test is such as um, a t-test, whether it is independent sample t-test, whether it is paired sample t-test, uh, whether it is um, uh, sing, uh, you know, uh, one sample t-test. Okay? Whether it is one way ANOVA, whether it is two way ANOVA, whether it is three way ANOVA, we have to um, fulfill uh, some assumptions, okay, like um, uh, normal distribution of data and uh, homogeneity of variance, all these um, uh, things, okay, such as independence of observations, all these things should be um, tested. And I, I will prepare, uh, produce a video on. Uh, how to test the uh, assumptions of the parametric tests and the linear regression modules uh, you will um, uh, find uh, the, uh, such videos in my uh, YouTube channel too. And um, this is uh, about um, 
uh, independent sample t test and it is the extension of the independent sample t test that create this ANOVA okay um, let me uh, show you and here um, let me show uh, what is uh, one way ANOVA one way ANOVA is one way ANOVA one way ANOVA One way ANOVA is an extension of um, independent sample t-test. How? We will see. Uh, let us, uh, you know, give an example. Okay, let us give an example. Um, we have we have to have we have to have a one dependent variable and one uh, independent variable. And uh, let us say our dependent variable is um, our dependent variable is a finishing time, marathon finishing time. Marathon finishing time. Another finishing time is a dependent variable because um, what you have to put in your mind is that whenever you are running a parametric test, whether it is a t test or ANOVA, the dependent variable is always uh, continuous. Okay, in this case marathon finishing time and the time is a scale variable uh, therefore it is uh, uh, it is continuous therefore we have a dependent variable which is, um, which is a marathon um, finishing time and uh, our dependent variable uh, we we need to have a one dependent variable and it is um, a shoe brand shoe brand And our 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 interest is to find out whether a shoe brand, uh, whether shoe brand, um, whether there is a average average manage, ma marathon finishing time difference between uh, the uh, shoe brands. And within shoe brands, we uh, we will have a, a group. Is uh, for example, let us say we have Adidas. We have. Um, uh, uh nike and we have um haga okay let us say those are the three um shoe brands we have and uh, you know our our interest is to find out whether there is um statistically a significant you know mean okay mean finishing time okay mean marathon finishing time between the pair uh, groups of the independent variable for example we can make um, uh, a, com a grouping is here uh, adidas and uh, nike adidas and haka haka uh, nike and uh, nike and haka there are uh, four group uh, there are th three groupings adidas and uh, nike one group okay, well, one pair uh, group adidas and haka uh, second pair group and um, uh, Nike and Haka as a third um, uh, pair group. So there are third pair groups, and we will find out uh, whether there is a statistically significant difference between these uh, pair groups. Uh, and um, you know, in this case, we must use a one sample, t um, uh, no, one way ANOVA. One way ANOVA, we, we, have, um, uh, we have one dependent variable, which is a marathon finishing time. And we have a uh, one um, independent variable, which is uh, a shoe print brand. And um, within the independent variable, we have uh, three uh, groups. Okay, three groups. What differs it? Uh, what distinguishes it from uh, two sample t test is that the number of the groups. In the case of independent sample t test, only. Uh, two groups okay only two groups but here you can have um, more than two okay more than two you can have three you can have four you can have five uh, groups and uh, as the number of the groups increase the pair the pairing of uh, the groups uh, the pair groups increase okay here because we have um, 
uh, three uh, groups we have only three group uh, three pairs but in case um, the in case the uh, groups or in, in the independent variable increases okay if it, if it increases to four then uh, the pairs also increase uh, the when the uh, group is increased to five then uh, uh, like likewise uh, the pair uh, group is also increased and um, another thing is that uh, it what makes ANOVA a uh, two-way ANOVA another question okay what makes ANOVA a uh, uh, two-way ANOVA and uh, two-way ANOVA is an extension okay one-way ANOVA is an extension of uh, independent sample t test and two-way ANOVA is an extension of uh, uh, one-way ANOVA I will show you how and here uh, let let us take the same example and uh, let us assume uh, the dependent variable is a marathon finishing time and uh, we have uh, a shoe brand as one dependent variable let us add another dependent variable independent variable okay let us add another independent variable and say um, age age of the runner age of the runner okay it is therefore it is the number of the independent variables that makes uh, ANOVA a one-way ANOVA and two-way ANOVA if we have only a one dependent variable and uh, one independent variable then that is one way ANOVA. If we have one dependent variable but two independent variables, then it is two way ANOVA. Therefore, it is a numbers. It is the numbers of um, uh, the number of the independent variable that makes ANOVA either one way or two way. Okay. Here uh, we have um, we have um, uh, two variables. Okay, two independent variables: shoe brand and age of the runner. Uh, within the age of the runner, we can have um, group is like a junior senior and masters okay those are the age uh, age groups age groups of um, age groups of the runner okay age groups of age category age category age groups okay but, you know a runner can be in the age category of junior in the age category of senior or in the uh, in the age category of masters and uh, in the interest okay the interest in our uh, in in the course of running a two-way anova is that uh, we can we can accomplish the aim of one-way anova in in two-way anova we can um, uh, separately consider we can separately interpret the result of um, the uh, shoe brand okay on the um marathon, ma marathon uh, finishing time we can also uh, we can also interpret the result of um, uh, the age group of the runner on uh, ma marathon finishing time and one way we, we can um, we can also interpret a one way anova result from the uh, a two way uh, two way anova but the major the major purpose of running um, two-way ANOVA is to find out whether there is an interaction effect. Okay, whether there is an interaction effect between the two uh, independent variables on the uh, dependent variable. Is there interaction effect? Okay, of shoes uh, of shoe brand and age groups of the runner on marathon finishing time is a question that we must address here okay interaction effect means um when the effect of shoe brand depends on the uh when the value of shoe brand when the marathon finishing time the uh, uh, the average marathon finishing time that is attributed to shoes uh, to shoe depends on the uh, marathon finishing time attributed to each group of the runner therefore the, there is interdependence between the valley uh, of uh, the marathon finishing time the value of the value is easier is easier interdependent is a mutual um, effect okay is a mutual effect of uh, the shoe uh, brand and age group of the runner on the marathon uh, finishing time is a effect is a uh, combined effect 
a shoe a shoe brand and the age group of the runners combined effect on marathon finishing time is a question that we address and i will show you in another video uh, in practical terms how we run um, uh, one way and over in spss uh, with um, a, a data collected and at that time you can um, understand how uh, the uh, how to interpret a one way uh, an over result from two way ANOVA and how to find out the interaction effect between the two um, independent variables on the dependent variables okay and another uh, another example that I want to show you here is that um, three way ANOVA okay three way ANOVA now we have seen a one way ANOVA we have uh, seen um, uh, two way ANOVA okay this is uh, two way ANOVA uh, this is uh, two way ANOVA okay uh, two way ANOVA and uh, the next is the third uh, is a three way ANOVA what makes ANOVA a three way ANOVA is another question that we must address uh, and to address this question let me show you another uh, uh, let me show you another example uh, let us use um, uh, the uh, two way ANOVA example as it is and uh, just add another variable. It's that variable, uh, let us say, gender of the runner. Of uh, the runner. Okay. Therefore, we have a one dependent variable that is a marathon finishing time. And we have three independent variables. Okay. Uh, three independent variables. Shoe brand age group of the runner and the gender of the runner our interest here is that whether there is interaction effect of the three variables on marathon finishing time on average marathon, on average marathon finishing time therefore what makes ANOVA 1 2 and 3 way ANOVA is the number of the independent variables and what makes what makes um, a major uh, difference between one way ANOVA and independent sample t-test is that the uh, group is in the uh, dependent variable in the independent variable in the case of independent sample t-test there are only two groups while in the uh, one way ANOVA there are um, many there can be uh, three or more uh, uh, group is the independent variable. Thank you very much. Uh